Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simulation for the Nation, and today we are going to build a British farmyard. Uh, we're going to make a dairy farm slash beef farm here, I think. Uh, and we're on Hull Balleron. Uh, main reason for it being because I really want to leverage this little crossroads here, or this T-junction here. Uh, but we're going to build a British-style farm. What I need to do before we do anything else is get rid of that farmhouse. Uh, and we're going to see what we can do here, really. Uh, in many of you will know, if you haven't watched it already, my Hope Belleron series does have a, a, a yard that we've built here from scratch. And I really do like it. And we're going to try and see if we can replicate it or make an, a fairly good attempt of a British-style map here using just the Giants placeable system and also some of the mods that we've been able to find either on the mod hub or on King Mods. So let's get after it, shall we? So first thing we need to do is actually just buy the ground that the farmhouse is on here so we can get rid of it uh, and make sure we have uh, some land to build a farm on. You'll see we're not short of money. Uh, we have bought, we have added in quite a lot of money here because it is not cheap to do all this. So we're just going to buy a little bit of land around here because uh, I'm going to put some fences in as well and probably make a few grass fields here to go with it there. But uh, that's how we're going to start. Let's click onto here. Let's get rid of this guy. Goodbye to you. Uh, now, can I get rid of some trees or am I going to have to do? No, it has to be chopped down when the time is right. And as you can see, what that does do is just get rid of all that annoying little curb stuff in there as well. So let's see how we go. The first thing I'm going to want to do, I think, is get rid of all this grass at the side. This is all going to be a... Well, it's going to be a yard, really. Now, my inspiration is kind of going to be off a few real real life locations that I'm aware of from my area uh, growing up back home there. Similar uh, locations to where my own farm was once upon a time. So we're going to see if we can make that work, I think. Uh, so what I want to do, if I'm going to use this as kind of my, my starting point, really. Let's have a zoom out here. Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. We can make that work. That's not as square as I would like it to have been. That's on a bit of a hill there, surrounded by trees. A quick look down here, and there's... Yeah, okay, okay. We'll make do. We'll, we can make it work, that's for sure. So, let's get going, shall we? Now, like I say, this is going to be our starting point around about here. Now, what I'm going to do is just get a little bit of painting done to this, just so I can... Kind of uh, lay things out a little bit better. I'm probably going to put like some kind of farmhouse bang on the corner here, I reckon. Uh, and then we can work off of that. But then what I'm going to do... Now, we're going to speed all this up. We're going to do a little bit of a time lapse. I'm going to keep coming back to it in sections here to see, see what we're doing there. So you don't have to listen to my meandering for all of this. Uh, but you'll still get to see how the, uh, how the improvements are coming along there. So we'll get going. And we'll come back to you when we made a little bit of an improvement, got some structure in place, and I'll uh, walk you through my thought process.
Alright, and so we've made a little bit of progress here. A few little design flaws or features that I've had to adapt because, well, the, the game operations require certain different aspects, such as the, the cattle pasture to be on the back of the cow shed there. That wouldn't be there if it was up to me there, but sailor bee, that's where we are. We're starting to get the basic principles going, though. If I uh, just get a little bit of flight into the spirit of things, you'll see that this is going to start to form up there before long. This will be all good. This is going to be our main entrance in here. And there'll also be one more kind of up the top there as well. So let's keep cracking on, I think, and we'll get this all wrapped up. Well then, folks, we've given it a best shot. Uh, doing something a little bit different here. It is a little bit tricky when you have to balance real life or your own experiences with gameplay, of course. Uh, but we've got a cattle yard. We've got a story pit and a muck heap in the background there. We've got a big old silent sheep as well as multiple, multiple different opportunities for storage. The one thing that we don't have is some kind of grain silo. But then, to be honest, don't see too many of those, especially around the area of the north of England where I grew up there. So you'd probably just be tipping onto the floor or taking it straight down to a grain store anyway but for the most part i think we're looking pretty handy there really uh we fenced everything in a little bit of random land there not too sure what to do with but i think it's looking okay so do let me know what you think and crucially as well if you'd like to use this as a base i can let this uh make this public and make this available the save game available to all who would want to use it there as well so do let me know what you think down below uh this is a nice little starting point we next thing i would look to do here would be to uh expand the fields that we own 
and make sure they uh, put a bit more fencing around those and some hedges and some trees to make those feel a little bit more like they belong here uh, as we have a little bit of a walk around here before we end there's a few things that we had to do just to kind of make things work really put a whole lot of garages in there just to fill up some space they don't really do a great deal you got your cattle shed there of course uh, you'll come through this little path here into your slurry lagoon there and the sheep as well uh and then they're looking good everything's kind of squeezed in here's a little bit of painting of terrain that i need to complete i think i'll do that now and we can get that all tied up this is the second entrance here to the farm now i might look to put some kind of gate into here I haven't we got anything that really suits i'd love some brick walls to come on into the uh into the game uh we've got our, f our fuel bowser uh liquid and solid fertilizer bowser there as well and like i say plenty of machine storage space there so we've got everything we need really uh what we'll do is come into here go on to plants uh stick a bit of the old grass in here as well which is super expensive to plant but hey ho i even put some bees down as well so that our uh our um yields in the area here will go up and we'll get a little bit of honey to come in for it as well there so that's a good good little move i would say uh let's just bring you down get some grass in there here everywhere looks better with a bit of grass all around don't you think oh right then makes everything seem a little bit more seamless uh crops for the most part are as they were haven't touched those really just making the uh, the whole surrounding area just fit a little bit more really uh which we've done and I'm thinking that's just done up there. And then a little bit more painting just to get this uh just uh, do all of this here and then that will be us good. And so there you have it we're all set like i say if you have enjoyed this one you will, would like to see more of me kind of trying to design some british farms here within the placeable system on farming simulator 22 do let me know uh, if you have enjoyed this one don't forget don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all in the next one until then do stay safe folks enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll catch you later